Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the best makeup of 2022. This is a smaller, more comprised list than previous years because I feel like this year wasn't their year of like, let's buy all the makeup ever. I feel like we've moved past that as a, a, a group, you know? Um, but we did have some really good products that came out this year and I wanted to talk about them with you. And uh, it's kind of weird that the year is coming to a close because I feel like I was just saying it's still 2021 a couple months ago. Because when it changes the year on me, it takes me a couple months to get used to the new year name. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. But yeah, that's what's happening today. And let's go ahead and get started. One quick thing though, I do have to give a quick shout out to my small business, theopencrypt.com. I put all of my holiday, like Christmassy themed items on like really good sale for you. So you can get them. You could also, you know, you'll probably get them close to Christmas time, or you could save them for next year. They're still good items. I just wanted to go ahead and discount them and move them out of my inventory because I need to make room for hopefully some new products coming out in 2023. Wow, that feels weird to say. But if you wanna check my small business, I'll leave a link down below. I appreciate it so, so much. And let's get started with the best products of 2022. Firstly, I wanna start off with a product that did not come out in 2022, but is my most used product of this year. And it's without a doubt the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation i use this constantly i did not use it today because i was trying to use some foundations that i decided not to declutter in my last declutter video you saw previously but this is like if i wear makeup six days a week i'm wearing this five out of those six days it's my favorite foundation i'm in the shade fair 20 in it is a perfect shade match for me it's beautiful i love it it's affordable and if i use it all the time i don't feel bad because it's affordable and you can get it at Ulta or ColourPop's website, all that. I'll leave these products linked down below for you that I mentioned today just to make it easy for you to find if you want to. But yeah, that didn't come out this year, but I loved it the most this year. <laughs> I guess since I talked about a ColourPop product, let's just group these by brands. And the other ColourPop product that is my favorites of 2022 is the Rock Candy Palette. Now I didn't get this when it like freshly launched. I got it a little while afterwards because it still just kind of resonated in my mind. Like I really want this palette. And I tell you, no regrets, it's beautiful. It has tons of beautiful, cool tones, very versatile tones. And even if you want like a berry look, you can make that happen with this palette. It's so pretty. Are some of the shades pretty similar? Yeah. Is it a kind of a big palette and I don't usually like big palettes? Yeah, but I use it and I love it. And she's beautiful and the shades are lovely and there's a good mix of both shimmers and mattes in here as well as a couple glitter shades, which in 2023, I'm gonna try to get into glitter shades without making a mess all over my face when I remove them at the end of the night. But this palette is just absolutely lovely. I enjoy the quality of the formula. These shadows, maybe because so there's so many similar shades in here, they're so easy to blend. And uh, yeah, I love it. So those are my two ColourPop items for this year. I'm surprised it's not a lot more, but this year I feel like they just did collection after collection of palettes and eyeshadows. Um, and like single shadows and stuff that I didn't really focus on anything else from them. I feel like there wasn't like, a new concealer launch or this brand new beautiful setting powder nothing fancier than the normal stuff so yeah that's all for ColourPop this year last year i feel like there's a lot more ColourPop entries in my favorites videos but still staple products nonetheless next brand i want to mention is kvd beauty now i feel like people have mixed reactions on kvd beauty it's no longer kat von d's brand and they've moved past it and then they've rebranded to just kvd beauty and then they kvd beauty again with a whole new rebrand of the packaging and everything so this is their three their third rebrand for this brand which is kind of weird however their products they've been releasing lately <laughs> they're so good so firstly this is a controversial product some people hate it i love it it is the KVD Good Apple Concealer. I love this concealer. Now, one negative thing is this thing gets hella messy. If we can see the outside rim, that's not just me putting it in there incorrectly. It just is a messy container. Like it always squishes out of here and it's like messy constantly. I don't really understand why, but the product itself, you guys, really good coverage. Um, it's more medium to full coverage. You could definitely get full coverage with the added like a little bit extra, but you can really thin it out and get a nice medium natural looking finish with it too. Beautiful shade range with this formula. And also I think the packaging's fun. It kind of looks like a little nipple in the end. I don't know why, but like the packaging itself looks pretty and I'm in the shade light 107. Really pretty shade, very brightening. And I just like the formula a lot. Secondly, from KVD Beauty, they released their new Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Formula. These are the Hyper Light ones. Now, I did a video where I compared the original Everlasting KVD Liquid Lipsticks to the new Hyper Light Everlasting Lipsticks that replaced the old ones. I will say, I wish that I will say I wish that the new formula came in a lot more colors. If you're gonna launch a whole new 
rebranding of a product that has been a staple in people's everyday routine for years. You know, there's some shades like Vampira. I still want Vampira as a shade, not the new formula, new version of it. Um, I just wish they came with more colors in the relaunch. They're all kind of everyday colors and then one black one that released afterwards. But the formula of these is really, really good. I'm wearing the shade Queen of Poisons right now. I also bought Dead Nettle at launch and I have Black Briar, the black one as well. These are a really comfortable formula. They're not quite as long lasting as the original formula because the, they're more comfortable. I feel like the drier formulas tend to last a little bit longer on your lips but the ones that are more comfortable tend to wear away in the inner rim of your lips easier, but they are really good like lip, liquid lipsticks. If you eat, you might have touched up an inner rim, but other than that, it looks really beautiful. It's not gonna come off on your straw or on your soda can or whatever. They are comfortable. They're beautiful. Love the formula, and the packaging is very clean and crispy too. I just wish like the KVD logo was like maybe like on a little, I don't know, somewhere else. I just looked at little boop. It's the only thing that reminds me is from this brand. However, if you want everyday colors, I would definitely suggest that formula. It's really lovely for people who like liquid lipsticks, but don't want their lips to feel dried down. So they're really good. Next up, I do have one Ofra product to talk about today because I love their highlighters. I know highlighters are supposed to be like more subtle these days for like the trends. I don't care. I love the metallically blind highlighters. So this one is from their Lotus collection they did about summertime. This is the Lotus Blossom one. There was three and this one's just my favorite shade. All of them are really good. I just love Ofra highlighters. I feel like they're a favorite to mention every year because they're just beautiful. Like they're, it's just beautiful. I love them so much. Next brand that I did want to touch on today is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Jeffree Star had some good products and some not good products this year. And these are products I didn't even care to review apparently, that Psychedelic Circus collection. But I have to say from his wedding collection, I did enjoy the palette, right? But there was that one icy white shade, which is always going to be my favorite shade of palette, that was just crumbly. So that didn't make it to the best of the year, but the Star Wedding Liquid Eyeshadows did. These are beautiful. So I have the shade Behind the Veil. These are so metallic, so pretty. Like, they're metallic and beautiful. Now, I typically don't use them on the lid. I use them underneath of my lashes and the bottom. But I love a metallic gold, white, kind of kind of reflective color. Doesn't matter what the reflect is, honestly. These are beautiful. They dry down nicely. They're not too clumpy. They're always smooth, like stunning. Honestly, stunning. I love this formula very much. Say what you want about Jeffree as a person. We're just judging the products today. And this one's good. The other thing from the Jeffree Star world this year that was just really nice. Okay, don't, I know this is gonna be a personal opinion. Well, all these are personal opinions because some people are not gonna like this color scheme, but the banana fetish palette, I love yellow eyeshadows. I love yellowy uh, eyeshadows or like grungy mustardy tones as well. This does everything for me except this stupid blue and pink shade in here. I still cannot get over how dumb it is that those two shades are in here. Like why are these two random shades in here? Not a fan. But the rest of the palette is lovely. Now, I know some of the shades look, when you look at the pan, they look very, very similar. You can watch my review where I show you swatches of all the shades, and you can definitely tell they have different undertones to them. Some are definitely pulling more gray, some are more green, some are more yellowy or orangey. Like, they have different undertones to the shades that look very similar, and I do appreciate that, which I didn't expect when I first got the palette, I was like, ooh, these shades look really similar, but swatched out, they have different undertones that are really pretty, and I just love yellowy and grungy looking eyeshadow, so this does both of those things for me. The formula is fantastic, but again, why is there a blue and a pink shade in here? I'm never gonna let it go, but other than those two shades, this palette's formula is just like, mm, it's so nice. Also, maybe in 2023, Jeffree can start addressing and acknowledging people who've used their products for years in a positive light. That'd be cool. <laughs> Not gonna happen, but that'd be cool, you know? Anyways, lastly, I wanted to talk about some palettes um, from the brand, the brand Kaleidos Makeup. Now, I didn't know exactly which palettes I wanted to talk about today. Honestly, there's the four that really show up um, in the new collection that's kind of uterus-themed and female-themed, which is really nice. And then also the Smoky Nostalgia Collection, which is the ones I wanted to show you today. Kaleidos' formulas are fantastic. I'm using their contour palette right now. I just... I like their stuff and these palettes are precious. Now, if you're someone who's messy or your eyeshadow drawers or wherever you keep your makeup is messy, this is fabric, it's gonna get messy. But the eyeshadow formula is so good and they're perfectly curated quads where like, 
you know what you're gonna do with the palette love that there's three mattes only one shimmer in this one such a pretty shade like these palettes are just such good quality look at this one look at her i love these i love every time i use a kaleidos palette especially these little mini quads because i feel like the look is already put together for me without me even have to think about it i love my look that day and if honestly if anything else that says enough about being in the favorites video is that like i thoroughly enjoy my looks whenever i use those palettes Really quickly, I want to talk about my most used palette of the year, which is Shadow Kiss from Alter Ego. I am an affiliate. You can use code Porcelain to save money off of them or my link. But that's not why I'm mentioning it. I'm just mentioning it because this is my most used palette of the year. It's my go-to for like, I don't want to think about the look or I'm just running errands. I just need to get out of the house quickly. This is the palette I reach for. It's a dupe for Natasha Denona one. You can kind of see I've made a lot of dents in the pans and uh, <laughs> it's just my most used palette. So I wanted to mention it. Lastly, it's more palettes, okay? Palettes are things I get excited about the most. Like, I, I can wear the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop every day and that KVD concealer and whatever color liquid lipstick I want and whatever formula. But when it comes to the palettes, I need a good formula. So last thing I want to talk about is from Glam Light and it is from their Martini, co Martini collection. They had like a little drink beverage collection. There was four of them. They had a, um, just a wine looking one. They had a strawberry martini one. They have a chocolate martini and a dirty martini collection. I showed you the back first, which looks like a nutrition label, which is super fun. But these palettes are super, super nice because the formula is fantastic. Now I'm wearing this one today just because I really wanted a simple crease and then something really metallic on the lid, which I got with this kind of uh, shade here, which is like a gold white reflect with a little bit of green hints to it. Really beautiful palette. And the formula is just so good. Like I love their mattes because you can really get them punched in and very impactful with the pigment if you want to, or you don't have to like I did today, but the metallics, their metallics are so lovely. This is dirty martini, which is the one I wanted the most out of that collection. Their mat. let's see, let's take gin, which is this blue one. Also, I don't know how people drink gin because it's freaking disgusting. And the only time I've ever tasted gin, it tastes like pine trees. Look how reflective and metallic that is. And it's still all over my finger. Like it's so, it's so beautiful as a shimmer. Love their shimmer formula. It is top notch. And uh, yeah, the Glam Light palettes are on point. But uh, besides the Scooby-Doo ones, the Scooby-Doo ones could have been improved slightly. But the starting martini collection, chef's kiss. Lastly, quick shout out to my lashes for my own small business. Akasha Haunted and Whimsigoth are my three most worn pairs. Whimsigoth's probably my most worn pair um, because I like the little flares that they give you. Akasha is my favorite for more like dramatic days and then days where I want my lash line to look very full and complete without being big flares. Haunted is my go-to style. So I wanted to give a shout out to my own small business and my own lashes that I'm very proud of releasing this year. And you can check them out, link down below. I've worn some of these like 18 times. They're still going strong because I keep them really clean and they're only $7.99 right now. Anyways, you guys, I know this was a quick video for the favorites of the year, but again, I don't think this year was all about buying everything ever, but talking about the best stuff that came out this year is more and more important to me. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your most used or most favorite product of the year that you used, link down below. It didn't have to come out this year. Just let me know what you've been using. Like, you know, the ColourPop, foundation didn't come out this year but i've still been using the hell out of it because if it's good it's good let me know what you've been using down below thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really mean that when i say that um I, I don't know where i stand as a youtuber these days i don't know what 2023 holds for me or my channel but i'm just so grateful that you're here today and that really does mean a lot to me so thank you and i hope to see you in the next video okay bye guys have a good day and stay safe out there